Now I will admit tailoring denim can be a little bit tricky, especially for beginners, but yo, it doesn't have to be at all. I'm SD, and I'm gonna give you a couple of pro tips. I, um, I don't like long intros though, so uh, let's do this. Pro tip number one, not all denim is a rock star. Some are pop stars and some are hip hop artists, you know, like, uh, like Biggie Smalls and Katy Perry. The reason why I say that is because you want to know what, uh, what genre of denim you're working with. I think you should subscribe. Well, what does that mean? Well, that just means are you working with lightweight denim or are you working with heavyweight denim? Now, lightweight denim is what you're gonna find in a lot of mainstream retailers these days. They sell a lot of lightweight denim, especially ones with elastin, so if you do a lot of squats like I do, don't have to worry about blowing a seam. It's got that stretch factor. And then there's heavyweight denim like Levi or Wrangler or Carhartt. A lot more, uh, a lot more heavy duty if, uh, if you know what I mean. Okay, SD, why should I care? Well, because different types or, or different genres of denim, they're gonna require a different set of tools, man. I mean, think of it like cooking. You're not gonna use a sledgehammer to crack an egg, right? I mean, you would have an argument in the event that you were to tell me, well, technically I could and it's gonna work. I'd be like, yeah, I guess you're right. Get to know your denim and it's gonna save you from so many future meltdowns. Now, what about your needle? Do you go for a universal needle or do you go for a denim needle? Well, uh, spoiler alert, it depends. I made a video not too long ago giving everybody the rundown and the 411 on sewing machine needles. Um, there's a sentence that I never thought in a million years that I would say, but uh, regardless, I gave you the ins and outs of it. It's down in the description if you wanna check it out at the end of this video. But the too long didn't read version is you kind of, you just need like two. Numero dos, mind your seam allowance. When you are tailoring your clothes, especially when you are tailoring denim, being aware of what a seam allowance is and how to handle it is critical. And all a seam allowance is, is that distance between the new stitch that you just created on your garment, in this specific case, your jeans, and then when you cut off the extra fabric, that raw edge. So the raw edge and the new stitch, how, uh, how big is that gap right there? Well, you want that gap to be five eighths of an inch. If you go too small, it is absolutely going to fray on you because denim frays very easily. So you're not gonna give yourself enough space to put an adequate zigzag stitch on there. And then if your seam allowance is too big, it's just, it's stupid. That's all it is, it's just stupid. It's, it's wasted space, it doesn't need to be that big. Here's one uh, that you probably haven't thought about before. Take it slow, take your time as my pencil goes I know, I totally get it. You are excited and really tempted to just kind of hit that gas pedal like it's Fast and the Furious and just go, go flying through your project. But don't, 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 don't do that. Slow down your stitch when you get to those spots where your seams are having a little bit of a party. When you see any kind of uh, humps of fabric, I like to call them, don't just go speeding through it. Don't go flying through it. Take your time, go slow. Because when you're working with denim, going way too fast is a one-way ticket to Snagsville. It's gonna piss you off, trust me. It happens all the time. It still happens to me. And it can end up resulting in things like skips, stitches, or your stitch might be puckering, things like that. So just, just take your time. All right, my denim warriors, let's go use this knowledge that we just learned and let's go hem a pair of jeans, shall we? Remember all these tips. They're gonna be super helpful. SD out, deuces.